In this video, we're going to look at how a greatest common factor plays into solving equations by factoring. When solving, it's important to not forget the important first step of factoring any problem, and that is the GCF. It's also important to remember that the last letter of GCF, F, stands for factor. It is a factor also, which means it must also be set equal to 0 when we're solving our equations. Now, the only exception is if there's no variable in the GCF, we can technically ignore it. Because if maybe 5 is the GCF, 5 is never going to equal 0. 5x could, but not just 5. So if there's no variable in the GCF, we'll ignore the GCF. So in this first example, we have 4x cubed minus 12x squared equals 40x. First, we know the equation has to equal 0, and we want the highest exponent to be positive. It already is, so let's subtract 40x from both sides. No like terms, so we have 4x cubed minus 12x squared minus 40x equals 0. Again, don't forget the equals 0. And now when factoring, the first thing we always look for is always the GCF. You may notice that each of these terms is divisible by a 4. In fact, they also all have an x. So we're going to factor out 4x. When we do, we're left with x squared minus 3x minus 10, and it still equals 0. Continuing to factor then, we've got the 4x out front, and we can factor what's left. With the 1 in front of the x squared, we know it's going to be x times x, and we need to multiply to 10 and add to 3. Well, 10 is 5 times 2, and if it's negative 5 and positive 2, it'll add to negative 3. Nice little shortcut we can use when there's a 1 in front of the squared variable. So first we make it equal to 0, then we factor, and now we set each factor equal to 0. The GCF is a factor, x minus 5 is a factor, and x plus 2 is a factor. So we say 4x equals 0, x minus 5 equals 0, and x plus 2 equals 0. All three of them. And then we solve. First one we solve by dividing by 4, x is equal to 0. Second one we solve by adding 5, x is equal to 5. And last one we solve by subtracting 2, x is equal to negative 2. So our solutions for this one are 0, 5, and negative 2. We have three solutions here because the GCF is also a factor and must also be set equal to 0. Let's try one last example. 6x squared equals 36 minus 15x. Again, the x squared is already positive, so let's move everything towards it. We're going to move everything left by subtracting 36 from both sides and adding 15x, doing the opposite operation so that there's nothing left on the right side. Make sure we put this in order. We write the 6x squared first, the 15x, and then minus 36. The exponent's counting down, and again, it equals 0. First thing we look for when factoring is the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor of 6x squared, 15x, and negative 36 is going to be 3. So we factor out a 3. It leaves us with 2x squared plus 5x minus 12 equals 0. And now we're ready to factor what's left. The GCF's out front. He doesn't disappear. And then first times first equals first. The only way to get 2x squared is 2x times x. Last times last equals last. 12. There's a couple ways. It could be 6 and 2, it could be 4 and 3. Let's try 4 and 3. Oh, wait. 4 and 3 won't work because there's a GCF in that binomial. Those are both divisible by 2. 
So let's switch them, 3 and 4. Okay, hopefully that'll equal positive 5x. On the outside, 2 times 4 is 20. No, it's not. Not 2 times 4 is 8. x, 3 times x is 3x. Can we use that to get 5? Yes, if the 3x is negative, the 8x is positive, we now have our positive 5. So now we are completely factored. So we have a factor of 3, a factor of 2x minus 3, and a factor of x plus 4. Now, because there is no variable in the GCF factor, it's going to be pretty useless to us, because we're just interested in finding x's. So we're not going to use that, but we will use the other factors, 2x minus 3 equals 0, and x plus 4 equals 0. And we can solve each of those. Solving the first one by adding 3, 2x equals 3, dividing by 2, and x equals 3 halves. Solve the second one by subtracting 4, and x equals negative 4. So we solve equations by factoring, by first factoring out GCFs. The GCF is a factor. Our general strategy, though, make the equation equal to 0 after it's simplified, factor, and set each factor equal to 0.